Hi everyone, this is Marley here with Duke Schnauzers and welcome back to my channel and my office. Um, if this is your first time joining me, welcome. So happy to have you here. We are miniature Schnauzer breeders located in uh, Middle Tennessee and we are crazy about our puppies and our animals. So if you like miniature Schnauzers and you enjoy learning about them and seeing cute, adorable videos of little puppies playing, then I will definitely hit that subscribe button. I will be posting content for y'all um, periodically. <laughs> so I wanted to do a video today to talk to you guys about something that is so crucial when it comes to our miniature schnauzers, which is their food. Yes, I know I've already done a couple videos, maybe three videos on um, miniature schnauzer nutri nutrition, but just like with anything else, we should always be researching, asking the right questions, and um, seeing if there's anything else we need to be doing to help our bearded buddies stay as healthy as possible. So I faced something this past month when we had 10 puppies and we were going to Petco like two to three times a week to get puppy food. Um, I was noticing that there was a shortage of Royal Canin food in general. So the miniature schnauzer formula, I had difficulty finding and also the puppy food that I feed my puppies. I couldn't find it. I had to go to multiple different stores in like neighboring, you know, areas of Tennessee. And that really was frustrating. And then that got me thinking, if I'm dealing with this, are my buyers potentially dealing with this or people who have previously bought puppies from me? So um, I started to look around the store to see if there was any other option that maybe was um, similar to the Royal Canin or something that would be a good substitute. And so that led me to discover um, Purina Pro Plan's weight management formula. I'm gonna grab the bag, it's gonna be loud, I apologize. Wow, here it is. It's huge. It's an 18 pound bag. This is Purina Pro Plan weight management. And there's two different formulas with the same dog on it. And there's a shredded formula. And then there's also one that looks just like any regular kibble. I really like the one that has, that's just the kibble. Okay. And let me tell you why. So in case you do not feed your dog Royal Canin Miniature Schnauzer formula, in case you are unaware of what's in it, um, let me explain. So Royal Canin Miniature Schnauzer Formula has a low fat profile, which is extremely um, helpful for miniature schnauzers because they are prone to just having fatty blood. That's just something that we know this breed has, and they're incredibly prone to pancreatitis, liver congestion. If your dog develops either of those, um, especially pancreatitis, they can get very sick very fast, and that can be an incredibly expensive um, vet bill if the animal can be saved. Oftentimes dogs don't show us they're sick until they're very, very sick. They're really good at compensating. So that's why it's so crucial that we, we as owners stay on top of this. Um, they also can develop diabetes. They also can have from that um, too much free fat floating in their blood. They can develop issues with their eyes. So all of these things are not good. We don't wanna to have to deal with this. We don't want our animals to have to go through this, which is why we need to make sure that we are feeding our animals the correct food for them. Um, as always, this is just my personal opinion as a breeder. I have consulted with my veterinarian about this, but prior to switching your dog's diet, definitely consult with your animal's veterinarian first. So now that I got that all the way. So miniature schnauzers, um, the miniature schnauzer formula from Royal Canin has a 10% fat profile, okay? That is a low fat profile. This food is specifically made for miniature schnauzers. It has 23% fat, fiber is about 3.7%. And that's kind of the big things they have in it. Um, there's other micronutrients in it that I'm not gonna go over, it's not really relevant. But um, that's what we've been feeding our dogs and it's worked pretty well, their skin looks good, they're healthy, their weight's been good. Overall, been pretty happy with it. Um, but the Purina Pro Plan Weight Management Formula has a 9% fat profile. It's even a little bit more low fat than the Royal Canin formula. And I was like, wow, this is really cool. It has 27% protein. It has, I'm reading off of a piece of paper, it has 5.5% fiber. So it has a little bit more fiber, which is always good. It has probiotics. And it also has other nutrients and vitamins in it that are really, really good. One of the things that miniature schnauzers can struggle with is their skin. They can get dry, itchy, flaky skin. They also can get what we call schnauzer bumps, almost like little pimples on the back. This has vitamin A, vitamin E, it has omega fatty acids in it, it has vitamin C, and it has calcium. If you've watched one of my other videos, I've actually talked about how it's so good to add an omega to your dog, to your miniature schnauzer's food for their skin and their coat. So the fact that this food already has it is amazing. 
Um, just like other Purina Pro Plan foods and Royal Canin, this food does carry an AFCO, um, an AFCO nutritional profile with it. There, it is actually reviewed. I really like Royal Canin and Purina Pro Plan as brands because they have all of the researchers on staff. They have the testing to back their products, so we know that the product is going to do what it's supposed to do. Both foods are chicken based. Um, I do not recommend feeding dogs, our miniature schnauzers, a um, slipping my brain, a grain free diet. There it is. See, cold, affecting my brain too. So, something else with this the price point. Okay, so Royal Canaan miniature schnauzer for a 10 pound bag is $56.99 pre tax. Purina Pro Plan Weight Management, this formula, I think the other one's a little more expensive, is $49.98 for an 18 pound bag. This is quite a bit less expensive. Um, you saw the bag, obviously we purchased it. We are trialing it on some of our miniature schnauzers to see how they do. And then we are planning on switching our puppies also to the back to the puppy food. I will tell you this, um, that puppy food seems to be more um, the macros that you're going to find in it, all the nutrients and stuff, it's going to be pretty standard across the board just because puppies need a, a, um, a specific level of nutrition and all foods kind of know this. It's just like us as humans, when we're babies and younger, we can tolerate less healthy diets for us. We're not going to see the outward effects of that until we get older. And that's maybe when you have to cut out some fat from your diet to protect your heart, you know, kind of, kind of how that goes. So that's what this is about. I wanted to share this with you guys because I was so excited. Um, right at the store, I actually called my veterinarian's office and I um, left a message because I was like, is this something that is comparable to the miniature schnauzer food that, um, from Royal Canaan? Um, and she said, yeah, she'd never heard of it and she was actually really excited about it. So I'm super excited to see how this works, especially excited to see in my dog's coats if I can notice a difference. Um, once the, the heat comes around here, they start to get a little more itchy and scratchy. So um, I will keep you guys posted. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comments and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.